in and I I have to send this video as opposed to being with, with you live in person again there was a little bit of a flight change and so I will be um, on a plane again which will be five o'clock your time so I wanted to go back and talk about Pratyahara. We were talking about the eight limbs of yoga and I skipped that one last week and we went straight into Dharyana, which is focus. And um, it's interesting the way the universe works because I had an opportunity to practice Pratyahara last night. I actually am lying down and the reason I'm lying down right now is my leg is elevated. I twisted my foot right before bed. I twisted my ankle and did something to my foot and um, it was really painful. And I, something might not be right. So I kind of felt that right away. I iced it, I elevated it, I slept with it elevated, but um, it, was, it was painful. And you know, a funny thing happened with the pain. Not only was I feeling the pain I was then adding layers on top of that, like, oh my God, what does this mean? Is it broken? That's not part of my plan. I've got all these plans. So this is just kind of how the mind can work and spin off. Um, and so I was, a friend had texted me and I was texting her and showing her pictures and we were talking and she was saying, a broken foot can be really painful. You might need something more than ibuprofen. I did take some ibuprofen and I said to her, no, I'm gonna practice pratyahara, which is sense withdrawal. So, withdrawing the senses, pulling away from the experience of the senses so you can really drop into that one-pointed focus. It's not something I practice all the time, to be honest with you. Even when I'm going to practice meditation, oftentimes I practice activating the senses. And I start to listen to the sounds around me. Right now I hear waves and birds. And, it, and by doing that, it drops me right into the present moment because, again, the way the mind works, we can often be spinning off our thoughts into you know, plans for the future or expectations of the future, or we can be rehashing stuff in the past. Like me, I was mad at myself for what I was doing that you know, caused me to twist my ankle and et cetera. So sometimes I use this, this senses to get me out of my head and into feeling and dropping into the present moment. But then there's another deep practice, which is sense withdrawal, not being distracted by our senses. We can get very distracted by our senses in the sense of, oh, I also hear a dog barking. So we have our preferences. We have sounds we like, and then sounds we don't like, you know, things that feel good and things that don't. You might find yourself you know, with your yoga practice, you run into a studio and you're, you think the temperature of the room is too hot or you really wanted that particular spot but you didn't get it or you wish you didn't bring this particular yoga mat because it smells or it's too thin and it's not comfortable. So, you know, we can get really wound up and um, in our head and attached to senses that we, you know, the preferences that fill our senses in a positive way and those that aggravate us. So to pull back from that and not be distracted by that and not be too attached to things being one way or the other, that's a practice. It's one that you can do anytime you see yourself going in that direction. And people run into the yoga studio and they, they might, you know, not have all of those things be ideal. And then they're aggravated because they're thinking, I'm not going to get that yoga practice in that I wanted, the one that I had expected. When really that, the yoga practice is right there, presented to them right there. It's like, 
withdraw that attachment to the senses. So um, I think it's ironic that I wanted to skip talking about it last week. And then last night before I was going to send this video, I had this opportunity um, presented to me where I was practicing this and, and I did find it really helpful. And again, for people who maybe have chronic pain, this can be a practice, a way to, um, to deal with the chronic pain without also, again, adding on top of it, adding the, um, I think part of people who deal with chronic pain, there also, there's the frustration and the, the fear that comes along with it not just the actual pain so and the you know then emotional state that goes along with it so it can be a very powerful practice to bring into um into your life and um i guess i'll leave you guys with that i'm going to be teaching next week with or without a boot on my foot and i hope to see you my um, regular class Sunday at 11.15 at Suka That can also be live streamed. I will be teaching at noon at Meta Yoga on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and that's a fiery flow. It's a great studio, open air. Um, I hope to see you at either of those places. Um, and Meta, that's not a permanent uh, time slot for me, but I'm going to be doing that next week and and i will be on that uh, at that studio um that's uh, yeah i'm not sure we're going to work out what class i will be taking on there but anyway i hope to see you next week if not live and in person at a yoga studio then perhaps thursday five o'clock <laughs> next week crossing fingers nothing else comes up because i really miss you guys okay take care bye